Hello there. Welcome back to Synthetic. Um, we're here with a new update. Unfortunately, it broke our previous save. Uh, I was out of town for a bit and wasn't able to record. So when I came back to do that, uh, it broke the save file, which I kind of expected because this is a big update. Uh, so we can go over a little bit what's in the new one. This 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 is a big one. So there's a new uh, weapon tech system, uh, new camera. Attachments are completely overhauled. Um, what else we have here? Weapon perks for every looted weapon. Uh, switchable ammo types. Improved game duration, maps, and pacing. I think that I'm going to really enjoy. Uh, improved impacts, graphics, new menu designs. So this is a big one. Um, so let's jump right into it. We're going to start a brand new one. Uh, we're just going to be the Grenadier. Nice and easy. See what the new update has to offer and hopefully uh have a good run because we uh we haven't since we had the one with the untimely demise at the very end so here we go i didn't check what uh pistol we have right i didn't switch it out so we got the p33 compact i think it's fine hopefully we'll find something better right away Right off the bat, it does seem like I'm getting better frames uh, with this one. Um, I don't think my frame counter shows up on stream, no, because it's the overlay. Uh, but I'm sitting at about 110, 120 now, which is pretty consistently higher than what I had before. So maybe that's part of what the uh, improvements are. Looks like the health bars are a little bit different, a little bit easier to see. Big thing we gotta look out for is the new weapon perk system. I'm very interested in seeing what that is all about. Gun like this, it's good to to get your headshot practice in. Oh, there's a turret right behind me. I always miss those, and I don't know why. I just hyper focus on the moving targets and don't even see the uh, stationary ones. So I'm just trying to spot more things as well. What we're seeing. I do like this environment, actually. It's quite nice. Um, it's not a waste a little bit of ammo, but that's okay. We got a ton for our pistol. So we're doing good, full health. Haven't had any, uh, any chests or anything. We're looking for a weapon right away. See the weapon up there, so we just clear the room, and then we're laughing. As long as it's not, uh... Our typical nail gun we seem to get at almost every match. Now you guys can just stand still while I shoot you. That works. Perfect. I actually... We're not using any of our abilities again. We probably should uh, pay attention to that. I don't even remember what we can do. Oh, yeah. So we can dodge with an explosion. We got a grenade. Uh, we got a field supply and a kick, so we we definitely can be using these sorts of things. So, for instance, let's throw a grenade in there right away. We can dodge in and explode them. I do have to say, as far as roguelikes, this is one where playing more often is a huge benefit. Um, well, especially for somebody like me who forgets everything five minutes after they finish playing. But I think consistently knowing what all of the abilities are, what the attachments, what the weapons. Ooh, dual-wielded pistols. Consistent damage output. Okay, I like it. They look so small in their hands. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of fun. That must be a new weapon, or at least it's definitely a weapon we haven't seen before. Um, but so far, I like it a lot. That's a lot of fun. Get some upgrades on there. See what the new weapon uh, perks and upgrades are all about. I'll throw a grenade in there, I think. Pretty much a perfect grenade. I really enjoy the colors in the new environments. It's very vibrant. I'm not sure if I said that before. Yeah, there's some ammo here. Might as well grab it for our double pistols. Not walk into that. I think we can just toss a grenade and do a little bit of damage. 
We have that kick too. We got an upgrade kit. It's no harm in using that kick. In fact, that might be something we can employ against the uh, shield guys in the next level. Got another grenade. Should be able to take somebody out there. Reload. Okay, we've got a couple people coming. I have to say the double pistol is quite satisfying. Do we have another grenade? There we go. Yeah, the explosions, everything seems a lot smoother. I assume what that's what they're talking about with the, the graphics. And, uh, yeah, my frames are staying much higher. Uh, you'll have to let me know if it, uh, if that's just me or if it's consistent between other people. I'm sitting at 120 now. Which is closer to where I'd like it to be. If I can get steady 144, that would be perfect. But I haven't really played with the graphics settings too much. I've kind of just uh, left it the way it is. We can throw a grenade in here. Also, don't forget we have the... Yeah, where we can run and explode as well. So I'm not sure what this does. Okay, so yeah, this is activated with the specialization, which is our grenade. Um, engages a long-lasting lightning shield. Continually deals shock damage. Interesting. We could also activate it with three. That was the previous update where we were able to do things like that. I mean, that's working very well. So that was a pretty, pretty quick uh, six minutes, and we're done the first one. So... Pacing definitely seems to be faster. They didn't mention specifically how they were addressing pacing. I was assuming that it was quicker because uh, I personally thought it was quite long. But maybe I was alone in that uh, notion. Okay. Kind of in a bad spot here. I always find... That the initial room is quite tough. So we're going to just get behind him. I think using our abilities on those shield guys is going to be where it's at. Something a little bit nicer. PCR Taco. Burst Fire Assault Rifle. Okay. There is another. So that's a cursed weapon. I think this is a good time to take a cursed weapon. we got lots of time. Let's see if it's better than this. Ion Rail. So it's a marksman rifle. I mean, we might as well run it. We're cursed anyways. I don't see any uh, any harm in giving it a go. See what we can accomplish. Okay, so we have to hold, I think. Uh, we're going to just try and... We better change our weapon. We're in a bad spot here right now. We're trying to make that... Uh, ion rail work from... It has the potential for just a tremendous amount of damage, for sure. If we can stay far enough away. That is a crazy reload. Let's see if we can get this guy. He's dead. He's sending off uh, an explosion. Okay. Let's get back to our dual pistols and see what we got over here. So we took a little bit of health damage there. Not ideal. Grab this ammo. Pull up. Yeah, let's check down here and check up there. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, items, chests, of course, is what we're looking for. Let's throw that grenade in there. And then we can just go in here and kick him in the back. And he's dead. We took a lot of damage from... We're not paying attention. So we're taking all this damage from this, which is coming from here. we got to get out of here before we die. We are down to 90 health. So we can throw a grenade over there so we can do some damage. Make sure our shields are charged up before we engage these guys. Let's do one of these, kick them in the back. Okay, and now we got to make sure to take this out as quickly as we can. Because that was almost the death of us. Oh, there's an item. Some, uh, there's a bunch of people down there. Let's uh, see what we can do. Take the, We should be able to take this guy out. Throw a grenade up here. At least do a little bit of damage. I see the hell, so that's definitely where we gotta go next. Grab the upgrades, the health, and then we're gonna, as soon as we clear this out, grab that chest, we're gonna do some upgrades on the double pistols here. 
go behind him, blow him up. Is that everything? Okay, so this guy is shooting. Take it out, and then see what our item's all about. Hotshot bullets. Fires multiple burning incendiary shots. Um, when does it activate? Oh, there's also perfect balance when owning exactly four police items. Grants one extra maximum stack. Interesting. Okay. We are going to give this guy an upgrade. Buy attachment. There's a lot new here. Um, so these are perks that you can upgrade. So it's locked at three. Last shot's critical. Okay. Buy attachment. Increases ejection speed by 100. Reload speed. Um, super. Oh, 10% chance on shots to get super ammo regeneration. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do. I like that. And another weapon. I mean, honestly, this rail... Um, so this is kind of a quicker... I don't know. I think maybe we go back to this one. This one's just so cool, but I just don't see us using it very well. We're not in a position that we will. So I'm actually going to go for this one. I think I can get a little bit more utility out of this rather than the other one. It's a little bit faster, a little bit closer. She kind of like that. That's a little bit of fun. Okay, I see the cursed item. We, I mean, we might as well take it. Let's throw a grenade on this guy, get behind him. Oh, he's dead. We're definitely going to grab this cursed item. Oops. Blood Rite. Deals cursed damage in a large radius. But when? Core ability. Class mobility. Utility. Core. So when I kick, that's when this activates. Interesting. That can actually be very good. I didn't think that was going to hit us. We gotta get out of here, actually. Oh no! I panicked, and we did very poorly in that situation. Okay. Probably should have switched weapons. We probably shouldn't have just dashed in there. But we made it out alive. Okay. So where are we heading here? What what, what haven't we seen? Have we been over there? I don't actually remember. Okay, that was not good. We're gonna get hit here for sure. Oh no, we made it. This must no. This is where we started out. There's nothing here. There's nothing here for us. Okay, now where do we go? Okay, we can do our little dodge. Head up here. Through. What haven't we seen? Well, let me grab some armor plating. Got a little bit of damage. Have we not been over this way? We haven't been over this way. Okay. Let's throw a grenade in here. That's going to do some damage at least. Take him out. At least a little bit of ammo. Who's that? Take him out. Perfect. Oh, I walked right in there. That was embarrassing. He's dead. The animation of the reloads is actually kind of cool. Give this guy a kick. So I haven't really seen that curse damage yet that we can do. Okay, he did some damage to us. We really desperately need some health, unfortunately. I haven't seen any health chests. That does damage right through his shield. I think they reworked the shield, guys, because it seems like I'm consistently doing damage through the shield. Okay. Now we can upgrade. I think we're going to upgrade our grenade. So. Grants 20% no charges cost. I like that. That's a good one for this. Um, and then we had another thing down here. Right? Yes. The Tinkerer Shop. Okay. Reduces burst fire delay. No. Healing gain. Increases all item cooldown. I think that. So, if we have zero. 
So that was probably very stupid. Because it's a 20% increase. So 20% of zero is still zero. Well, you make stupid mistakes and you learn, I guess. But we're cruising through. I mean, um, yeah, these uh, these levels are going quicker. That was a very poorly performed level, for sure. What do we got here? Let's take care of these people first. Kick that guy right in the face. What do we have here? Increase movement speed, increase damage against rooted, decrease the shield regeneration. We don't want that. Grants 10% for twin shots. That one just seems fine. Um, fire rate, burst fire rate. I like that. Because we uh, the, the guns that we have are not super uh, recoil heavy. So I think we can deal with that better and have just faster fire rate. Item, love to see it. Okay. Now, I don't remember if there is um, weapons, upgrades. How we set this to a... activated one. So if we take that one off and put that one on. So now I should be able to press 4. Okay. Perfect. Um, but it also works with the class utility, which is the field supply, which we don't need right now. Here we got an... Let's deal with these guys first. Let's kick this guy in the face. It's biting me. We should just switch our weapon there. That's just poor... Playmanship. So we got an upgrade. Reduces any weapon deviation by 20%. Okay. I kind of want this to do just a little bit more damage. How many upgrade points do we have? 60. That is not enough. As far as... Uh, just press the wrong button. Yeah, we need 100 for that one. So... We will just keep on going. See you. Take you out one shot. Let's kick you in the face. Now we're cruising. I see the upgrade points, so that's perfect. This is going to give us 40. So we have enough to upgrade this after we finish this encounter here. Take you out. Yeah, you just summoned a whole bunch. What if I throw a grenade in there? And then do one of these. Take everybody out. So that was played pretty much perfectly. We can keep doing that instead of screwing up all the time. That's that's kind of the perfect thing. We're going to buy an attachment. Turbo chip. Uh, cooldown reduction. Increases charges. The next shot fires four projectiles on an active reload. Okay. Um, kills gain stacks. Taking damage loses all stacks. Each stack increases any damage by 5%. Maximum six stacks. That's interesting. I think we're going to do it. I mean, why not? It sounds interesting. What's the worst that can happen? Let's throw one of these in there. Do one of these. Kick him in the face. Miss every one of our shots. Do our best not to take any damage. That was embarrassing. Okay, there we go. What the heck is going on? That is already dead. That's just embarrassing. Okay, well, let's just uh, kick this guy in the face. He's dead. We got some ammo up there. Take this guy out. Nice, easy shots. It's very satisfying, this gun, I do have to say. There's some health, finally. Did we walk right over this before? Okay, so um, what are we missing here? Go up this way. Yeah, I like this this kind of an area where you can walk through the... Oh, we're jammed. The building is part of it, but... It's very interesting. Take you out before you cause any damage. Pick up some money. There's some more upgrade points. We're at 80. So we, I'm going to throw a grenade down in here. Oh, we don't have... It is a long reload time. What is this? I uh, got some armor plating. Okay. Black market. 
So that just gives you one random one. Uh, two key cards. Ch gets a, grants a chance to not trigger a cooldown. Affects beams and constructs. I forgot that we had this sentry turret. We need to be use that. We're going to do the random one because I didn't like that. On elite kills, get a temporary damage boot. Resupply ammunition. Interesting. In fact, let's put one down right here. I'll take care of the dog. You guys can fight that. That worked out well. Oh. Just kidding. Perfect. I'm a little bit worried how these weapons are going to do against uh, the boss when we get there. But maybe the high damage output is going to be enough. I need to practice switching <laughs> my gun when I'm being chased by them. I mean, at least we're dealing with those shield guys that usually give me a lot of trouble quite easily. Taking them right out. Oh, there's another guy back there. Perfect. Would love a little bit of health before we head off into the boss room. Let's throw a grenade down there. Oh, some plating. Miss every shot. There's health. Thank you. Reload and get ready for this guy. Might as well just go in here. Take them out like that. Trying to actively think about... Uh... I mean, honestly, we might even change... Experimental Burst. Compact Personal Defense SMG. Let's try this out. This might be better for the boss when we get to that. Let's do one of these. Kick and take everybody out. All right, and we got the curse down finally. And we did have this, that was actually a lot of damage we did there. And that's using our abilities. We really have to pay attention to that. There's the health chest we were looking for. Perfect. Let's have a quick look in here. Might as well throw one of these and then do one of these this guy there we go more upgrade and an item and another health chest okay since we're full on health it's actually gonna give us something i think uh okay that's on heat i don't think it actually gave us anything there's some ammo and what do we have here we can upgrade one of our things here let's upgrade our turret Power stacking. Effect power. 3D stacking. Increases effect fire by 25%. Hmm. I don't think either of those is what I really want to be using. Okay, let's have a look at our guns here. So we got 180. We may as well give this guy an upgrade. Twin burst. Switches the weapon to burst fire. Increases fire rate by 200 RPM. Okay. Increases damage by 25, increases royal recoil by 10. I think I like that. And then we are... This should be boss already. So let's get everything reloaded. The animations, I really noticed all of the reload animations, the active reload. Very nice. Little details that just make it uh, a little bit nicer to view. And I think makes just an overall better experience. The heck is this? Is this the same animation that it was before? So we have not had very much luck uh, with this guy. And that is definitely due to not paying attention. Because there is a very easy way to dodge his... And we're not doing it, so that doesn't help. We are most likely going to lose here, I think. Trying to just get into a position where we can do some damage. Trying to see where his... Um... Oh, shoot, that was completely wrong. Well, oh, for some reason, our turret isn't set to number four anymore. 
Oh, we're getting hit so hard by those. We gotta try and get our shields back. Dodge so we're not getting hit by those. Let's throw a grenade. That might actually do some damage here. Oh, we wasted a bunch of ammo by accident. We'll be able to dodge here. Oh, we're so close. We can keep dodging these lasers. All right, we've actually done it. So, again, we didn't do it very well, I would have to say. there There is a, a pattern there. There's a section where you can dodge all of his uh, lasers, uh, and I'm just not good enough to do it. I think uh, playing it a couple more times will get used to it for sure. But at least we've beaten him. Uh, we've moved on. And uh, let's check what we got in the chest here real quick. Colonel of Superior Specialization. Increases the base power of the class specialization. You, oh, so that is the grenade. I like upgrading that. All right, well, that is the first uh, section, first boss uh, with the new armory update. Thanks for watching. We will continue in the next video and uh, see how far we can make it. Thank you. Oh, nothing's working here.